I am very proud to welcome the current winner of the Hastings International Piano Concerto Competition, which has in recent years become one of the world's most prestigious piano competitions. His name is Shunta Morimoto, and I'm gonna read you this litany of incredible uh, achievements. At the age of 12, he won the prestigious first prize of the Piano Teachers Association of Japan and the acclaimed Fukuda Scholarship Award. In May of 2019, he partook in the Van Cliburn Junior Competition in Dallas in a performance that went viral on the internet. And then at the age of 17, in, 20, in 2022, he then won the Hastings International Piano Concerto Competition. Since then, he has been, he is going to be playing far and wide in some of the world's most um, prestigious orchestras, with some of the world's most prestigious orchestras and um, symphonies. I think it's fair to say that he's one of the most talented musicians of his generation and blessed with prod prodigious talent. The fact that I was able to book him um, pretty soon after he won the Hastings Piano Concerto Competition makes this evening very special because it's one of his earliest performances in a festival setting. So please put your hands together to welcome to the stage Shunta Morimoto.
Hello, this is Shinta Morimoto, and I'm very happy to be here, and thank you so much for coming. Um, the theme of this concert is fantasy, and the fantasy means, doesn't mean a particular form, but it means a freedom that does not have any obligation in the style, which uh, is seen in the sonata form or rondo form. So fantasy form is a very free, it's very free style, which the composer put their own inspiration into the music. So of course the piece that each composer composed as a fantasy is very private. And I'm very happy to share with this music today. So this piece I just played is not fantasy, but this is a Salaban from uh, Jean-Philippe Rameau by French, com uh, from French, uh, from France. And the Saravant is uh, original, the dance, originally from South America. And this is brought by Spain. And it was still sort of folk, folk dance, but it became the court dance later. And this is a one, two, three. Uh, this is the rhythm always accentuated in the second beat. And this has very majestic and very aristocratic uh, temperament, personality. So the second piece I'd like to play is Le Nier de Soron, means the simpletons of Soron. So <laughs> even he is from that Baroque period. Rameau was quite funny, not like Bach, and he composed lots of funny pieces while also studied a piece called Chicken, or this uh, like simpletons of Soron. So, you can you will see that lots of humor of Ramo, which is with lots of love for for humor, and also you can see the um, lots of beautiful or ornaments, which is also the characteristic of this French Baroque.
And next, I'd like to continue with the piece by Mozart. And why I continue with Mozart? Because, this, because there are connections in the style. And uh, Mozart adored the son of Johann Sebastian Bach. But Johann, uh, which is called, he's called Karl Friedrich Emmanuel Bach. But Actually, Carl Philipp Emmanuel Bach didn't learn, didn't inherit the style from the Johann Sebastian Bach, but he learned from the French Baroque people, such as Rameau. So the Mozart, what, what is new is the harmony and melody. Uh, they use the new way of composition of harmony and melody, and not uh, counterpoint uh, like the kind of the do re mi fa mi re do mi fa do re mi fa mi re do like a uh, lot of same voice going but not like this but uh, Mozart and Lamo he composed with the new way of composition which is much more with harmony and melody okay and uh, <laughs> and uh, this okay I, I will explain about I'd like to explain about this piece by Mozart, Fantasy. This piece is very special. First, this piece is C minor, and he didn't compose so much minor pieces. He composed 18 piano sonatas, but only minors are two, two minor sonatas. And it's been already very special, being minor. At that point, when he was composing, uh, he was living from Salzburg, and he was falling in love with his student, and also um, a wife of a man where he was living. And he gave this piece and the sonata, which is the uh, same uh, 
this piece and sonata by same minor to this lady with the instruction how to play this piece. And after Mozart has died, his wife asked this uh, Teresa Trattan, can you give me back, can you give me this instruction? But this lady refused to give her so it must be not only how to pray, but it must be something else also in the instruction. I don't know, but anyway. Um, and so what is uh, this piece? This piece is even being fantasy, uh, quite composed very well, not like, because she composed a sonata, uh, the same sonata. Uh, this fantasy is a prologue of this sonata, and this sonata is very capricious. So probably she intended to put some prologue as a very formal uh, fantasy to be able to uh, make a very uh, logical composition. We don't know. But uh, this is very tragic piece. And in the middle part, we have very private, very personal uh, moment that you cannot really find the other piece of Mozart.
Thank you very much. Uh, as a last piece, I'd like to finish with a great piece by Brahms, The Fantasy 116. This piece, uh, he composed a great series of piano pieces in his last, the last time of, almost his last moment of his life. And 
which is from 116, 117, and 118, and 119. And all the pieces are very short, but it has the content that he, he put very intimate sentiment, sentiment into the, each pieces. And this is one of the great pieces of Brahms that I will be, I'm going to perform today. And um, sometimes it's very capricious. Uh, there is a piece called Capriccio as a first piece. And sometimes it's very, um, very melancholic, remembering his past. Very sad and very, but I do not like to explain by words so much, but the, you will see the, uh, it's a really great piece that his experience and his really matured wisdom is in the pieces.
Thank you very much. I'd like to play one more. And actually, I'm learning lots of fantasies now. And I'm, one of the pieces is the Bach. Uh, Johann Sebastian Bach composed the great fantasy. Probably this is one of the most famous pieces in the classical music. I would, this is uh, chromatic fantasy and fugue. And I will play fugue of this piece. <laughs> 